Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about my weird phases that I've had in my life. So what I mean by that is that I've had a, I'm pretty sure I've had a bunch of phases that I've went through in my life, like a bunch of things that I liked and for a long time, but then got over it and went to another phase and something like that. Everybody's got a bunch of weird phases when they're growing up as a child or preteen or something like that. So... I don't remember a whole bunch of them. I only remember a few, so I'm going to be listing those few that I remember. So the first one is the Justin Bieber phase. I used to be pretty obsessed with Justin Bieber when I was like in third or fourth grade. I would like listen to his songs and I used to have like a DVD or something of his like documentary of Never Say Never. It was it was it was crazy, but I don't have that DVD anymore. And I'm pretty sure DVDs nowadays are outdated, so that is what it is. But uh, that that whole Justin Bieber um, obsession was short-lived until I found out that uh, um, a long time ago there was like a news update of Justin Bieber that he was drinking and driving, doing a bunch of crazy stuff. So I'm like, you know what? I'm fed up with Justin Bieber because he's in jail. So I stopped liking Justin Bieber, but... Now, I feel pretty neutral towards Dust Justin Bieber. I do like some of his music, though. I have had, I have some of his songs on my Spotify playlist that I like to listen to, so... Justin Bieber's kind of decent, kind of okay. So, I mean, Justin Bieber's pretty catchy. Don't get me wrong. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of women, a lot of men really like Justin Bieber nowadays. I mean, back in the day, they used to really get obsessed with Justin Bieber. So, okay, next one is the origami phase. I remember back in fifth grade, I, um, one teacher, when I was at the library, a teacher recommended me this book series called Origami Yoda. It was like an origami Star Wars type of book, and it was really cool. It was just a story about this kid who was making this origami Yoda puppet and stuff, so it was, it was really interesting. And I've read... I've actually read the whole series, I think. I think I've read the whole series, books, because it was really interesting. And at the end of the book, they have like this how to make each origami um, Star Wars character. And I was obsessed with that part, making all the different origami um, Star Wars characters like Darth Vader, Yoda, Princess Leia, Luke Skywalker, C-3PO. Um, but I didn't make R2-D2. I didn't know how to make that one. Maybe I maybe they didn't have the R2-D2 book when I was in fifth grade or sixth grade or something, but I was really obsessed with making a lot of those Star Wars origami characters, but I don't have any anymore. I threw them in the trash a long time ago because, you know, I just got over it. I got over that phase a long time ago. It didn't last long. It only lasted for like a year or two. So it was fun while it lasted though. And the next one is the Yu-Gi-Oh phase. So for those of you who don't know what Yu-Gi-Oh is, it's a trading card game. It's like a card game with a, like fantasy stuff. And I, that one didn't last long either. That only lasted for like a few months, maybe a year when I was like a junior, uh, sophomore in high school, maybe. I um I would use some of my money to spend a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, play with some of my acquaintances at school in the cafeteria. And um I must say I'm not pretty good at that game. I I never I didn't remember winning a game. I was completely terrible at it even though I knew the rules back then and I don't know the rules now. I completely forgot how to play the game. So there's that. I was like getting a bunch of cards, trying to get all the good cards and make sure I try to even the odds and beat one of my acquaintances who had Yu-Gi-Oh cards and try to beat that person and stuff. So it didn't work out. No matter how hard I tried, I, I keep losing because whatever I did back then was just not that great. I was completely terrible. I, I I was terrible. And the last one is the doll phase. And this doll phase lasted for a long time. Now, 
some girls or some guys or whoever, when they're a kid, they like to play with dolls. And sometimes they could get over that phase when they're like, what, 12, 13? I didn't get over that phase until I was like, what, 16, 17? It took me forever to get out of that phase. And I mean like forever. It was just so long. I was obsessed with collecting dolls, putting them on a shelf or whatever, playing with them and stuff. And I was still a teenager and I was probably in high school too the early stages of high school and I still had dolls which is kind of embarrassing but there are some people out there that collect dolls and they're fully fledged adults so I guess you could say doll collecting was normal back then but after a while after I was 17 or so so 16 17 I got over that phase and I got rid of all of my dolls and I mean all of them I don't have a doll Except I do have some collectible dolls up in uh, my childhood keepsakes for storage because my mom doesn't want me to get rid of them at all. Like, I try to get rid of them, but she's like, no, keep them. Because those dolls, those specific dolls that I have are expensive. And they're American Girl dolls. I was obsessed with those things when I was a kid. And uh, I must say, those dolls are pretty expensive. Like, $100 a piece. Like, it is pretty expensive once you think about it. Like, how can a little kid, 8 to 12 or something, could have $100? So their parent would have to be, like, mentally exhausted buying a bunch of dolls for these kids so they can be happy. I mean, those dolls are pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's some adults out there that collect them, too. So, they're pretty cool dolls, actually. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of all the weird phases that I've had in my life. So, um, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.